Hey everyone, Thomas Eric Duncan, the Dallas, Texas Ebola patient died in the hospital this morning and sadly it was reported that Mr. Duncan did not receive treatment when he initially arrived at the emergency room of the hospital in Texas he walked into. They said he didn't have symptoms even though he told them that he was from Liberia, he had made a trip over there, and he believed that he had contracted the virus. They, they ignored him, sent him home. Three days later, he starts to show the symptoms, goes back, and they still don't take him seriously until, get this, the family asked the Reverend Jesse Jackson to step in. And then all of a sudden, treatment got better. But even with that, he didn't get a blood transfusion. He didn't receive the normal level of treatment that other Ebola patients have had, white Ebola patients. And I say that because of the six Ebola patients, Thomas, Eric Duncan, Ashoka Mukbo, Dr. Rick Sakra, Nancy Wrightbull, Dr. Kent Brantley, and Patrick Sawyer, the two that are dead are the two who are black, who are African American. That's Thomas, Eric Duncan, and Patrick Sawyer that indicates a problem. First of all, Thomas Eric Duncan didn't reportedly have health insurance. Folks, get your health insurance. Get that out of the way. Get that done. Get it. But additionally, the disparaging treatment in patients by hospitals with respect to race has to end and it has to be addressed. Sadly, the news media doesn't just come out and say that there's this difference, except MSNBC does a better job than other organizations of really mentioning that this is a problem. But the bottom line is it's not talked about bluntly so that we can get it out of the way as a problem. As long as we don't deal with calling out people who behave that way, we're always going to have the problem. It has to stop.